recently to Corey Sanders, you remember, back on July of this year. So he's looking to get back up on the horse after two straight knockout losses. All right, but our heavyweight flashback right now, the Everlast flashback, that is. December 7th, 1970, Muhammad Ali had given up his sellout crowd, just saw a devastating knockout from Devaro Williamson. And uh, getting ready for our next fight. And, and this is one of the things about what we call a quote-unquote swing bout in our business, Kevin. Right now, Willie Williams and Sean McClain, they're in the dressing room. They're gloved up but they're never figuring, gee, we're gonna have to rush out here. So they've gotta get warmed up. They can't get rushed into the ring. That would be dangerous for the fighters. Both fighters would come in very dry in a situation yeah. like that. Did you ever have a situation though where you were in a, a swing bout and you found yourself in the ring not quite as warmed up as you would have liked? Oh yeah, definitely. And what you gotta do, you gotta adjust, adjust and adapt. That's boxing, you know, you gotta learn to adjust the situation. Um, just the last fight we saw, the mouthpiece wasn't there and he had to adjust and adapt, Bob L. Williamson, to the situation too. So. What happens that at that point is then you got to change your strategy a pinch. You go out, you throw some jabs, and you box more for the first round to loosen up to get into the fight. Um, just got to make exceptions. What happens, though? I mean, you have a situation, and I've, I've been back in dressing rooms like this where one of the fighters is warmed up because his trainer just had him staying sweaty, and the other guy is dry as can be. Well, hey, good to the guy that, does, that takes care of it, and bad for the guy that doesn't. So what has to happen is it has to become a mental thing. Boxing is 90% mental, 10% physical. So at that point, the fighter's mentality has to go to work. All right, here comes Willie Williams out of East Point, Georgia. As we mentioned, he's got a three-fight losing streak that he desperately liked to stop. Things looked like they were really going his way. He had three knockouts, four knockouts in a row. Shane Hanks, Marcus Johnson, Ralph Ward, Jeff Pegues, and then he ran into Derek Banks. And things have been downhill since. He got stopped by Alexander Zolkin and Corey Sanders shortly thereafter. Tonight, though, against Sean McClain, he's got a good chance of reprieving himself. McClain also coming off a knockout loss to Wesley Martin in his last fight. Getting stopped in two rounds, but coming in with a 22-7-1 and one record. Big puncher, though, 20 knockouts. And here comes Sean McClain out of Rio Rancho, New Mexico. He's either going to knock you out or you're going to get knocked out by him. He's been stopped in his pro career six times. Willie Williams, three times. How do they match up on paper? Well, we'll tell you. Sean McClain gives up 10 pounds to Willie Williams tonight, two inches in height as well. Big reach advantage for Willie Williams, who has a very good jab. We'll see if he can use those eight inches to his advantage. Williams, two years older than McClain. And we're going to get our official introductions right now from our ring announcer, Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with the Reno Hilton presents this Everlast Heavyweight Explosion event scheduled for six rounds. Your referee for this event, Victor Alegria. Introducing in the red corner to my right, wearing the all-black trunks, weighing in at 234 pounds with a professional record of 22 victories, seven defeats, one draw, and 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Here is Irish Sean McLean. McLean. His opponent in the blue corner wearing the black trunks with the silver trim he weighs 244 pounds, his professional record, 15 victories, 4 defeats, 10 wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of East Point, Georgia. Here is a Willie Blacksteel Williams. Williams. Six rounds, heavyweights. Okay, step in. Uh, Okay, uh, gentlemen, I've given you instructions in the dressing rooms. I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. 
Sean, this right here, Willie, this will be considered a low blow. You're short or a little high. Right here. Look down. Any question from the red corner? Any question from the blue corner? All right, touch him up. Go to your corners. Now, uh, Victor Alegria having a little bit of a problem getting them to focus on the waistlines as they were very intent on the stare down. That wins fights sometimes. Sometimes it wins fights. Sometimes it pisses the other guy off. Well, we're going to find out. This is only scheduled for six rounds. This Round shouldn't one. be a factor for either fighter. Just watch for that long reach advantage. And right away, Willie Williams snapping that jab out there. McLean, a hen hunter. We mentioned 20 knockouts in 22 fights. William Williams has a very good boxing ability. You know, he's very quick for his size. Um, very shifty, crafty. As you see right there, sneaky, sneaky right hand. Good hand speed. McLean, though, never backs up. Just keeps coming. Well, that could be right an now. issue. That oh. definitely could be an issue for him if he keeps walking into shot. William sometimes gets into a habit, Kevin, of laying on the ropes, and that is not what he wants to do with McLean. It negates that whole reach advantage that he has. That's how he got in trouble with Corey Sanders. Corey Sanders is such a big man. He's so much bigger than him. I mean, that he had such an advantage by getting in the ring with him. But he was slow, too. Williams didn't use his speed in that fight. At all. He didn't box. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Williams hands up. has good punching power. No key is the altitude. Well, the altitude affect Willie Williams, you know. I mean, we I all don't believe in a six-round fight. It should, Kevin. But we talked about who's dry and who's not. Willie Williams, very dry. Sean McClain already has a good sweat going. And both fighters. Oh, and a nice right hand lands, and McClain does exactly what we said. Williams getting himself caught on the ropes. That's just where McClain wants him. Still half a round to go here. Will Williams get his back off those ropes, get in the corner, get out the corner. Oh, big left lands by McLean and a two right. It's coming back from Willie Williams. Will Williams is to get the center of the ring where he's more effective and get off those ropes. Williams doing what he told me he wouldn't do. He's getting into a punch out right now with McLean. And knockouts happen that way. You know that, Arnie. Oh, this is what McLean loves. McLean's had over 10 first round knockouts in his career. Right now, he's on his own turf. Willie Williams fighting McLean's fight. Once again, goes back to the ropes. 40 seconds to go here in the first. Right hand over the top by Williams. Backs up McLean momentarily. Well, Willie doesn't advance. What happens, he lands a good shot and goes backwards instead of going forward. That's the problem that's happening here. Honey. Willie Williams is throwing a jab, but he's stepping backwards. Allowing McLean to advance. When Sean McLean fought at cruiserweight, got knocked out in three rounds by Johnny McLean, who's in attendance here tonight. McLean got his promoter's license today. In attendance to watch this fight. And, and what a fight it is right now. Williams trying to fight off the ropes, and McLean keeps banging. Great first round of action. Stay in the middle of the ring and box. Here we look at the flurries landed. We see Willie Williams back and stroke, getting hit with every punch in the book. He's throwing back, but he's not landing effective shots. He's not getting McLean off him. There goes some shots, but McLean stays right on top of Willie Williams. And Kevin in their corner right now, they're yelling at Williams, stay in the center of the ring. That's what we say. Here's another angle. You see his back is very close to the rope. He lays on the rope. And here he is, using an effective jab. That's what he needs to do. Stay in the center of the ring, Arnie. When he's in the center of the ring, he's most effective. He's been doing it for 10 weeks. Good work. Breathe. Second out. Let's go. Up. Second, Second, out. Second, Second out. Second out. out. Breathe. We approach the Let's second go. round. Go. Round number two, Sean McLean, solid black. Willie Williams, black and silver. And what a first round it was. Kevin, can they keep up the pace? McLean can because he's going forward. He's advancing. He's not going to get fatigue and tired. But Willie Williams has to stay in the center of the ring and stop luring himself to the back of 
is back to the ropes. Back he's doing right now. And that Circling was exactly the, the instructions, Kevin, between yeah, rounds in Willie Williams' corner. They're screaming at him, stay in the center of the ring. And here he is once again, finding himself he's got a, back to the ropes. He also got punch and clinch, too. Tie up the flame. But he's not doing that. Every time the clink is close, he's tying him up. Instead, boxing through a nice drop and staying in the center of the ring, but he's kind of near the rope. And that's very bad for him. Now big combinations by Willie Williams. He and can't get sloppy. But McLean loves it. He better not get sloppy. Finding himself once again back to the ropes. You keep hitting him. Willie Williams just can't get sloppy. That's the whole thing. He starts throwing his punches. He loses his chin right in the air. Well, McLean showing a better chin though than we gave him credit for, Kevin. He's been stopped six times. And right now, Willie Williams hit him with a Sunday punch. And McLean's still coming forward. Like I said, to me, it looks like a combination. I'm starting to see Willie Williams' mouth wide open. I don't know if he's getting a little tired or a little fatigued because of the altitude or because he throws so many punches. His back is against the ropes again. Willie Williams got to get his back off the ropes, get a set to that ring, and start executing. McLean gives him credit. He's getting Willie Williams against the ropes. McLean most recently stopped by journeyman Wesley Martin. That doesn't bode well if Willie Williams much better fighter than Wes Martin. But McLean's still there. And believe it or not, we still have more than a minute to go here in the second round as the pace continues. There he goes. Like I said, time up, get to the center of the ring, take away your combination. That's what he needs to do. He's abandoning the jab again. Put his back on the ropes. He landed those shots from McLean to slow down for a minute. Oh, Willie Williams really teed off but McLean's down. Great hand speed from Willie Williams. But Willie Williams looks like he's breathing very hard. I think his altitude is taking his toll on him. Okay, still 30 seconds to go on around. Willie Williams, a very good finisher, and Sean McLean, though, trying to pick up where he left off in the first round and not where he just found himself on the floor. Oh, and down for the second time. Oh, and Victor Alegria pulls all over. Sean McLean pushing him back down. McLean looking over at his corner. His head's clear, but his balance certainly in there. And he's going to survive the second round. And Sean McLean down. Good job. Stay in the middle of the ring, David. Good job. Good job. That's right. Stay in the middle Twice of the and very good happy in Willie Williams' corner you know, as he followed good instructions, good Kevin. Keep boxing. And managed to keep Sean McLean yeah. in the Just center of the ring and very right. successful Box strategy for him. Box these guys. Give him an ice pack, Rob. Put on the back of the neck. Box, Box these guys, Kevin. the best. Man. Here we look at the action in the middle of the ring. Willie really Williams throwing good shots, landing effective punches, utilizing a lot of hand speed. McLean cannot keep those shots from him landing. Here we look at the first knockdown as Willie Williams comes over the top with a series of punches. Drop right hand, drops McLean to the canvas. Here's the second knockdown as Willie Williams round, throws good shots, round, both hands, punch and power. We start the third round and there's a question in the corner of McLean and this fight's over. The fight's over. Sitting on his stool and not coming out for the third round is Sean McLean, and Willie Williams finally breaks that three-fight losing streak. Stopping Sean McLean here, who doesn't come out for the third round. McLean down twice in the second round. And Kevin, one of the things I wanted to say to you, McLean, what kind of a strategic mistake? He goes down the first time. Obviously, he's clear-headed when he gets up, and he goes back toe-to-toe -to -toe with Willie Williams instead of holding on. Well, that's all he knows. You know, he's stuck to what he knows. He goes forward, and he tries to catch you with good shots. As we look here at the first knockdown, you can see Willie Williams is setting him up with the jab, coming over the top. Nice right hands, power shots. They go to the right hand. If Sturt started it, that's the right hand that's about to finish it. Right there. You know, he got him hurt and never let him get out of being hurt. Here we look at the final knockdown. Willie Williams goes back to his work for him. Both shots, both hands, left hook, right hand, ends the fight.
Well, not technically, because, of course, McLean beat the count, got up at that point, but even though he was pushed he, down by referee Victor Alegria. But we're going to get the official time of the stoppage huh? from Mark Bureau. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner retires at the start of round three. Therefore, the winner by technical knockout in the third, Willie Blacksteel Williams. Williams. Well, it'll go down as TKO three. Willie Williams, the winner. He'll improve to 16 and four. That's his 11th win by way of knockout. Sean McClain will drop down to 22, eight and one. As we see McClain still sitting there in his corner. He's been stopped by the likes of some big punchers like Joe Hip, Johnny McClain, former kickboxing champion Rick Rufus, and then some lesser known fighters like Wesley Martin and Trent Surratt. And uh, not that Willie Williams is lesser known, but at this point, Sean McClain has to do some serious soul searching about how long he wants to keep taking these kind of beatings. Too much of a barroom brawler to be in there with the likes of Willie Williams, who did weather quite a storm from Sean McClain, who, uh, I don't know how your card had it, Kevin, but Sean McClain, I thought, won the first round. I had a good even. I was very indecisive about that first round. Because, you know, McClain had his moments, but so did Willie Williams. You know, he came back, he was coming up the ropes, he was throwing good shots, he was landing effectively. And I was very indecisive, but like I said, if you're going to give it to him anything, of active aggression on the part of McClain. All right, coming up, we're going to have four-round hit.